When flying from Manila to Boracay via Calibo, you'll leave the Naya International Airport, Terminal 3, and you'll ferry across the uh, tarmac in a bus, and you'll be taken to your plane, whether that be Cebu Pacific or Philippine Airlines. Once you board the plane, you'll notice that these planes uh, have wider seats, more leg room uh, and head room, and the luggage compartments above your head are much larger. As you taxi down the runway, uh, preparing for takeoff, uh, one of the sights that you'll see is the, uh, uh, the large airport itself. Uh, this is the new airport that was constructed uh, five years ago, and uh, the, the airport itself is really nice. Once you get overhead, uh, you can notice that the city of Manila is quite large, and for first-time flyers, Highly recommend getting a window seat. Uh, the view is actually incredible. As you head out across the countryside, uh, you'll notice uh, different islands. Uh, these islands will have uh, white beaches. In this uh, picture here, you'll see the tall volcano, which is the world's smallest volcano, and you'll fly right past that and that's uh, right around Tagaytay. As you head over to Kalibo, you'll actually pass right by uh, Boracay, which you see in your screen here with the white light on it. The island next to it, to the front, is uh, Carabao Island, which is an island now being developed uh, for tourists. Once you arrive at the airport, uh, you'll uh, walk across the tarmac, uh, into the uh, airport. Uh, it's very small, so there's no chance that you can get lost. But if you have any questions, uh, once you get inside, you'll notice two gentlemen sitting on your left here in orange flowery shirts. They work for Southwest Travel and Tours. And you can go to them and ask them for assistance, and they'll be happy to guide you to the correct place or the bus that you need to board. The trip from Kalibo to Cataclan is about 1.5 hours, give or take a little bit for traffic. Kalibo is a fairly large city. It has a, a general hospital uh, and other things uh, that uh, fairly large cities have, which is traffic. In Kalibo, one of the things you'll notice is uh, an enormous amount of tricycles that uh, really do clog up the streets. Once you start to get through the city of uh, Kalibo, uh, you won't hit much traffic. Uh, the, the highways are they're really clean and, and, uh, and well maintained for the most part. Uh, I've never seen any real damage to them. If you're a foreigner, um, I highly recommend this route to uh, to Cataclan via Calibo. And the reason is, you'll see things like this here, the provincial schools uh, as you drive by on the highway. These schools are located right on the, on the highway there. And it's very interesting to see how uh, provincial life is. Uh, you'll notice school kids on the side of the road. They'll be playing games and, and, and having fun. Uh, you'll, you'll also see other workers uh, <clears throat> on the side of the road uh, with their daily activities and things. And, and this is something typically, typically you would not see in the cities. Again, once you get out of the city and you start getting out on the open highway, um, you'll notice a lot of mountainous areas a lot of green trees, uh, rice fields, as you see here in, in this photo. And you'll see farmers um, plowing the fields. Uh, you'll see them uh, using carabao rather than uh, mechanical uh, machines. Everything here in the Philippines is really uh, done by hand, uh, certainly when it comes to farming.
Here's a picture that uh, I took when we went uh, on a trip via Calibo. It's a farmer uh, who's taken his carabao out to the carabao out to the rice field uh, to let the carabao roll around in the mud. It's really, really hot uh, in the Philippines, and so they take good care of their animals. Again, these are animals that they use uh, to to make their living, the, to plow their fields, uh, to bring in the rice, to to carry the the heavy loads, to pull the wagons, and and that sort of thing. And, if you've not seen this type of thing in the Philippines or in any other country in Asia, it's really a nice uh, a way to see it. Here you'll see on the side of the road farmers drying their rice on the side of the road. So they'll lay their rice out on these uh, rice mats and they'll dry the rice in the sun. And once it's dried, they'll put the rice in bags and then they'll carry it to market. Again, you know, if you're, if you're not familiar with this or you're, you're a foreigner, the trip in itself is worth it uh, just to see the, the provincial life that takes place here in the Philippines. On part of your trip, you'll notice uh, a coastal highway where uh, you can see the ocean as it's coming up against the shore. Now once you get into uh, Cataclan, uh, you'll get off the bus and the guy in the uh, flowery orange shirt. He works for Southwest Traveling Tours and they're really one of the the best tour companies uh, in Cataclan. Uh, they've been there for 15 years and they're the only company that Wild Philippines Travel Agency uses. If you have any questions on where to go you just ask him or anyone for Southwest and they'll be happy to help you. Uh, they'll guide you to your uh, uh, correct destination. This guy sitting here, this is Jerry. He works for Southwest Travel and Tours. Super nice guy. If you have any special need, talk to him and he'll help to accommodate you. Here we have uh, two young ladies that work for Wild Philippines Travel Agency, Andrea and Liz. And they're now headed to the boat uh, that will ferry them across uh, the Tabon Strait over to Kagban Beach on Boracay Island. Once on the boat, uh, again, this is with Southwest, and it's why we use them. You'll notice all the life jackets. Some of the Banca boats do not have those. This is why we highly recommend using Southwest travel and tours. As you pull away from the dock, um, and get out on the open water. Uh, just the fresh air alone, if you've been in the city for a while, is, uh, it's really refreshing. Uh, it's nice, it's a great feeling of relief uh, to be out there on that Banca boat knowing that you're headed to uh, one of the nicest uh, white beaches uh, in the world. The ride uh, from Cataclan over to Kagban Beach on Baraka Island is roughly 15 minutes, give or take, uh, depending on the type of boat uh, that will be taking you. This is the new pier that was installed uh, a couple years ago uh, on Kagban Beach. And uh, it's really nice now, especially for elderly people getting off the boat. Uh, it, it comes right up to the pier and uh, it's very easy to get on and off. Once you get off, you'll walk down the pier and once you come to the end of the pier, you'll notice this large building here to your left in the screen. It's the Welcome Center, and this is where you'll pay your um, environmental fee and anything like, anything like that. Also, they have uh, drinks and snacks inside and different government uh, uh, agencies. The girls here are getting ready to uh, get on the van that will take them uh, to the resort. In this case we're staying at Artista Beach Resort up in Dinnywid and so the van will take you all the way there. So remember the next time you travel, wildphilippinestravelagency.com.